Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 100. And before I get into the review, can we can we just stop and take a moment to just really appreciate that the fact that the fact that we've already reached 100 episodes in Dragon Ball Super, like I, 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 it doesn't matter whether you love or hate or just in the middle, in terms of your your enjoyment of the series, but can, can we just sit back and appreciate just how? awesome it is that, that we actually got to 100 episodes of Dragon Ball Super like I, 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 I know I know the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z already already got past those points but j j j j I think I think just the fact that we've already gotten to 100 episodes in Super already it proves to me just j j just the amount of staying power that the Dragon Ball main actually has like just it, it shows just what just how much people actually love to how much people loved Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball as a whole, because if people didn't love Dragon Ball, then I don't think that this series would have even lasted a hundred episodes, to be honest with you. It's it's pretty much all, all about the viewership, guys, and hey, we, 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 we made it happen, so yeah, a hundred episodes, people, It's and probably a more, hundred more, who knows, but uh, yeah, let's, let's stop and, and get into this review, um, and... The first thing I, I want to say about this episode is uh, Kaba. I want to talk about Kaba and Kale. Okay, Kaba. Uh, I mean, okay. Um, Kaba. When he was going up against Vegeta, all hot and shit, like saying, "I'm going to defeat you, Master," and I'm like, Kaba, bro, I love you. You might have the power of a Super Saiyan, but Vegeta's still got the experience on you, dude. Like. And like, like yeah, he he does have the strength and the experience. He's got way more battle prop, battle experience than than, than than you ever do, dude. So, yeah, uh, if if Kaba's still if we if we ever cut back to a fight of Kaba and Vegeta, yeah, I don't think Kaba's gonna really stand a chance to be honest with you. And when when those human when those guys were ganging up on Kale and using her as a human punching bag, I was just sitting back going. You assholes are fucking stupid. Like, and even even though, even though, uh, even though Kale didn't did, in in that moment did, didn't turn into legendary Super Saiyan and turned into the form after, after that, uh, it was still nice to see the scene of Kale and Caulifla just talking, because I think it did show something that show something that, that they actually do in fact care about each other. Like, I know it's been. I know it, we, we've seen it before, but we also see that, that they do bigger a lot, and it's just nice to see that, that as sisters, that I see, as sisters, Caulifine and Kale can actually have have those nicer moments, even if, even if, even if, even if, even if, even if, even if compared to Kale, Kale, even if compared to Kale, that, that our our main girl, our main girl, same girl of Caulifla is a lot more of a rough around the edges kind of girl. Like it's nice to know that even even Caulifla can can have those um. Can in fact have those nice moments with with Kale, but uh, when I saw, but when I did see, see when I did see, when I did see, call 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 trans get into that transform into a Super Saiyan and go into that big buff form, that was both ridiculously hilarious and yet to a certain degree badass. Like for for, for some reason, when, of course, of course, when Kale did it, it, the main reason I think she was just purely badass is because she, she actually had the presence of it. But when 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 we see when we see when we see call when we see call uh, I think when we see her sister doing it when we see when we see the other when we see call 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 doing it and she's in control it just seems weird somehow badass but a little weird too and I think again it does go back to the fact that when when Kale does it she just loses her shit but yeah and um speaking of. Okay, speaking of, speaking of, um, speaking of, uh, speaking of Kale, I guess, I guess we should get, like, the, the, the uh, when, when I was, even before I, even before I watched this episode, I had heard, I had heard whispers about a couple different plot points, or, or spoilers, of this episode. The first being that, 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 that of course, Kale get, ends up getting defeated by Jiren, and when I saw that, like, okay. If they handle this right, they can make it work. And to a certain degree, to me, I, I, I think I think they made it work. Like the thing about Jiren doing about Jiren taking out 
taking out kale for taking out kale like that is that for like G kale getting eliminated by Jiren, I'm completely fine with it because first she was first even before the whole fight, even before even before Jiren ended up taking out kale, we still see we still still we still, still kale just going totally ham on Goku beforehand, and. And and that and honestly that 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 whole fit, that whole fight alone of Goku just just getting hammered into the ground and whatnot, it it, it was still worth a fight worth the price of admission even if Kale did end up getting defeated by Jin because for me I think for me Goku getting hammered into the ground like that people will question it but to me it is good to know that even Goku ha even Goku ha has his limitations I mean. I guess people will start questioning the whole validity of how powerful, how powerful the Super Saiyan Blue form really is. But to be one hundred percent honest with you, yeah, I'm completely fine because if any of you have ever played Dokkan Bat, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle or anything, or or just or just watched Broly, the Broly movies, then you know the Super the Legendary Super Saiyan shit that ain't nothing to fuck with. Like seriously, I think people are still. I think I think Legendary Super Saiyan is still beast as shit. So I think it, I think it makes sense that, that, that Goku that, that Goku would still have a hard time with with Kale, to be honest with you. Um, and, and like I said, just, just and, and like I said, the whole Jid and taking her out, take, taking Kale out thing, I, it made sense because in the sense where and Jid and taking Kale out, it made sense in the sense where uh, I, I guess I guess it's one thing I wished. I wish would have happened to be honest with you, but but I guess they just ran out of time to do it. I guess you could argue that I I, I guess with the time that, that they were given in order to assemble a team and whatnot, uh, I guess they didn't have time to in order to train to in order to control it. But uh, you you could argue that the reason why the, the, the biggest reason is that I was showcasing this episode as to why Kale was was, was basically so, so was was basically dusted by was basically dusted by was basically dusted by. Was was taken out to begin with is because she she basically lost control of herself. She she lost control of her power, of of her power and of her power and her sensibility and of her power and sensibilities. And if there's one, <clears throat> if there's ever one lesson I've taken away from Dragon Ball as a whole, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, any any form of Dragon Ball, it's that with with without proper control of your own power. You will inevitably lose. You'll ine you'll inevitably lose. Like as long if you don't have control, then you you're basically just you're basically just you're basically just you're basically just you're 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 well to use video game terminology. You're basically just you're mashing buttons. You're not really you're not really you, you, you you're not really you're not using skill in order to in order to win. So it's it's just pure power. So in that sense, I'm I'm really okay with uh, with with the fact that with the kill got get, ended up getting taken out by Jira and again it's it's completely fine to me. Um, the, the, the now on now onto that the, the other the other the other spoiler I, I heard about before this was was the fact that Kale and was the fact that Kale Kale was was gonna ask was gonna ask Goku about becoming Super Saiyan Blue and what was gonna that Kale was gonna that Goku was gonna train Kale to be Super Saiyan Blue, and I'm glad that I'm glad the direction they took. Like I am still kinda iffy about the fact that that, that they decided to in, that decided to go with the whole training thing to begin with. Like like that Goku was was in fact training was was in fact or, or like or, or uh, no not Kale it was Kalifla sorry that 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 it was, was Kalifla who was gonna ask Goku to train to be Super Saiyan Blue, and I'm kind of okay with and. I'm kind of okay with it because, for starters, uh, Goku could just flat out refused to, in order to teach her to go to that level because she she basically said she she that Kalifla is not is not ready for for the power of a Super Saiyan Blue, which I'm totally okay with already. Like I'm fine with with only Goku. Like off right off the bat, I'm totally fine with just Goku and Vegeta being the only Super Saiyan Blues out there. Like if if we got, I, I think like uh, okay, you could argue that maybe the Super Saiyan Blue isn't 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 all that. I, I, I like the thing about it is I want there to be at least one like w the super whole super saiyan thing has kind of lost its touch over the years but I want there to be at least one one, one at least at least one particular nut at least what I want to bring back I want to have some kind of a novelty with the super saiyans and the super saiyan blue d does seem like that novelty so I'm gl glad we're keeping it in that in that spirit I guess but um even more than that I, I like the, the whole training thing in general is kind of iffy to me j even like 
Go Goku did end up training her in training training tr tr did up tra end up training call 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 Ifla in order to go Super Saiyan two, but. Uh, and and I'm kind of iffy on the whole training thing to begin with because hey, your universes are at, at risk here, guys. You, you need to you, you, you need to focus on on surviving rather than training. But I, I and if if it was going to be training, I'm I, I'm I'm okay with it, I guess, in a way like especially with especially with with with, with especially if if it means if it means we get some if if it means that we get some more of of of, of killing and cotton cotton of. Of 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 the of badass bitch like 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 call 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 holy fla, and just seeing her going super saiyan too that 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 shit was actually pretty hype like uh, it's like it's it's stuff like like the one thing the one thing I really want in really want out of all this is I want I think I I think we could argue that maybe Universe Six has a bit more of a has a bit more of a plot per, like there isn't maybe total plot protection on them but I do think there is plot protection on Universe Six. And if that is the case, I'm completely fine with. Uh, if if uh, if Universe Six survives this, then I'm I'm actually totally cool with that because even though I'm still not a fan of of of, of the other two guys of of the other guys in the Universe Six team, Bo, which which is the the yeah, I'm not a ton of, of of Bo 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 Tomo or or Ma Ma Ma. Uh, get a, I'm not a fan of those two guys of Universe Six, but um, I do want Universe Six to survive j j just only only so we could end up seeing more, more of Kaelin Kalifla. So yeah, that's that, that's pretty much like my, my whole thoughts on what we've gotten out of this so far. Like, yeah, I I, I just I don't want, I want Universe Six to or want Universe Six to survive if for no other reason than, than, than to see those to see those two particular characters more of those particular two of those those two particular characters. Like it should. Uh, the, the, it's it's just a, gr a great thing to have to have these have these strong str strong 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 uh, 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 the Super Saiyan female characters. Like I just love these I just love these girls so much. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna lose them and I don't wanna lose them and I don't in that sense I guess I don't want Universe Six to be eliminated I guess or or erased. So here's hoping, All right? But. Uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my review. If a, 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 a very good episode, and like I said, the, the stuff that people might have had issues with, I, I I can completely understand where we're coming from. But if you enjoyed the video, like, come subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Night of Enemy. Signing off. Later, guys.